I'm Logan. And I'm Lawson. Now you might remember me from my 2019 college football playoff prediction video, and if you haven't seen that video yet, and I know two games already passed, but go ahead and check out that video, I put a link in the description below. But anyway, we're here to do our NFL playoff predictions for the 2018 season. So basically how this is going to go down, we'll both be taking turns with each game, and uh, we have 30 seconds to explain why we think each game is going to go down the way it is. And that's going to go all the way up into the Super Bowl, and at the end of the video, we'll put a full bracket on who we think is going to win each game and ultimately win the Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta this year. But enough talking, let's get to it. Well, Colts did have a miraculous season. They started really bad, and then Andrew Luck had a lot of protection on his O-line, and then basically he ended up going to the playoffs, and the Texans just have a lot of talent and are in the playoffs. But who do I think is gonna win? Well, the Texans do have home field advantage, and I just think that they have more talent in general. Even though it's hard to stop Andrew Luck, I think the Texans are gonna advance to play. I forget who they play, but the Texans are gonna win that game. We got a little bit of an AFC South matchup going on in the playoffs, which is always fun, right? So who do I think is going to win? Well, the Colts had a really nice 1-5 comeback, where the Texans did too. They started 0-3. But who do I think is going to win? Well, I think the Colts are just kind of a hotter team right now. I think I personally trust Andrew Luck a little bit more than I do Deshaun Watson, and he's actually been to the playoffs before. So I'm actually going to take the Colts to win this game and advance to the NFL Divisional. Well, the Chargers finally used all the talent they have on the roster, and they actually are a better team on the road than they are at home because their stadium sucks. Well, as the Ravens have a really good defense, but Joe Flacco wasn't the answer, and then Lamar Jackson came in for a while, and then I guess he's like the legit thing. So who do I think is gonna win? The Chargers do play better on the road, and they have more talent, so I think the Chargers are gonna beat the Ravens, and yeah. So the Chargers are at the Ravens in the playoffs, and the Ravens did win last time when the Chargers were home too. But who do I think is going to win this matchup? Personally, I still think the Chargers are the better football team. I think I like Phillip Rivers a little bit better than I do a rookie in the playoffs. And I don't know. I just don't really think the Ravens are really as talented as the Chargers in this situation. So I'll actually take LA to advance. Well, the Chargers, like I said, are better on the road, but they have to play in Kansas City, which is known to be, I guess, the loudest stadium in NFL. And also, the Chiefs have the best offense with Patty Mahomes and Andy Reid and Tyree Kill, and, you know, you, you know the names. Who do I think is going to win? Even though the Chargers are legit, I do think this offense is going to torture the Chargers, and it's the Chargers, you just can't trust them in the playoffs. Well, Patrick Mahomes is great, and the Chiefs' offense is legit. But I think the Colts are actually going to pull off a little bit of an upset here. The Chiefs haven't won a home playoff game since the 1990s. And I just don't think they're going to end it here. I think the Colts are honestly a more balanced team than the Chiefs. And, I mean, Andrew Luck got to the AFC Championship last time. I think he's going to do it again. Even though the Texans have a really good defense and their offense is pretty good too, you gotta remember, this game is in Foxborough and the Patriots also know what it takes to win a Super Bowl. Simply put, I think Tom Brady and Bill Bilcheck are gonna, I don't necessarily think they're gonna manhandle the Texans, but I do think they're gonna beat the Texans and advance to play, I think, the Chiefs. This is a really long flight for the Chargers and after all, these are the New England Patriots at home in the playoffs. But I got the Chargers still. I think the Chargers are still going to go ahead and beat the Patriots and advance to the AFC Championship. Tom Brady notably looks a little bit older, and I'm not doubting them necessarily, but I just don't think it'll be this year. Patriots at Chiefs. You know, the Patriots actually beat the Chiefs earlier this season in Foxborough, but the difference in this game is that this game is in Kansas City. Can the Patriots actually hold off the Chiefs from going to the Super Bowl in a different stadium? I don't think so. Plus, apparently every Super Bowl runner-up in like the last few years doesn't go to the Super Bowl anyway, and I'm not saying that's the main reason they're not going to win this game. I just think the Chiefs offense is too good and they're just going to advance to the Super Bowl. Yes, really. I have the two wild card teams in the AFC Championship. Personally, I think the wild card teams are better than the division leaders. So who do I think is going to win? Both teams are honestly on and off in some weeks, but they're big in games that matter. But I got the Chargers still. I think they're a little bit better on paper than the Colts, and I just think this is going to be Phillip Rivers year where he finally proves he's one of the better quarterbacks and no one's going to underrate him anymore. So yeah, I think the Chargers will actually advance to the Super Bowl.
Well, those are our AFC playoff predictions, and now it's time for NFC. I personally think the Chiefs are going to play someone from the NFC, but who exactly? I think the Chargers are going to go, but who do I think is going to play them? Let's find out. The defending Super Bowl champions, Philadelphia Eagles versus, in my opinion, the number one defense, the Chicago Bears. The Bears are home, and this is going to be a good game. Even though I do think Nick Foles is probably going to pull off some magic way to maybe win the game, I am going to contradict myself here. I think the Bears are just the better team here, and their defense is going to be too legit, and they have home field advantage, so the Bears advance. Most people are saying that this is an easy win for the Bears, probably. But I think this could go either way, because this is the first time Mitch Trubisky is in the playoffs, and the Eagles won with Nick Foles last time, and he's been pretty magical as of late. So who do I think is going to win? I'm not super confident in this pick, but I'll still go with the Bears. I think the defense is going to be too good for Nick Foles, and they're pretty good at home, especially in the cold. So I'll take Chicago. The Seattle Seahawks at the Dallas Cowboys. Two teams that I believe nobody thought was going to be in the playoffs. Who do I think is going to win? Even though Dallas is home and they have Ezekiel Elliott and Amari Cooper, well, their defense is also pretty good, and that should be a factor. But Seattle, I think, just has Dallas's number even when they're away. And I think Seattle, in my opinion, might even be a better team away. So I think the Seahawks are going to advance. I don't feel super confident in that, but I think the Seahawks are going to advance. This one is also a tough one to call, but I'll still go with the Seahawks. I actually agree that they probably have the Cowboys number. And I think I trust Russell Wilson a little more than Dak Prescott, and, and that's just me. So... I think the Cowboys are a good team, but I think the Seahawks are actually going to come away with the victory. Seattle Seahawks at the New Orleans Saints. Even though the Seahawks have proven they can win in the big stage this year, I do think the Saints, you know, have the home field advantage and they just quite frankly are the better team here, or at least in my opinion. So I do think the Saints are going to advance to the NFC Championship game. I think everyone can agree that the biggest quarterback threat to Drew Brees is Russell Wilson. So I think they actually kind of give them their biggest challenge, but I'm still going to go with the Saints. I think the Saints, with more time off and their home field advantage just being a little overpowered this year, I'm going to pick the Saints to go ahead and win and advance to the NFC Championship. The LA Rams versus the Chicago Bears. I don't think the Rams are going to be the same playoff team we saw last year where they just were kind of disappointing. But I think the Bears do have one of the most loyal fans, and they're probably going to take over the stadium because the Rams don't have a great home field advantage. Even though the Rams are great, I think the fans and the Bears defense with Khalil Mack is going to be a problem for the Rams, so I think the Bears are actually going to advance to go to New Orleans. The Bears this year remind me a lot of the 2017 Jacksonville Jaguars. They have a controversial quarterback and a really good defense. And honestly, I think they're going to do the same thing. I think they'll beat the Rams in L.A. and advance to New Orleans. And they also beat them last time. And I know it was in Chicago. But the Rams seemingly don't win to all the good playoff teams like they have this year. So I'm going to pick the Bears. Boy, do I think the Chicago Bears are going to have a great story. And here they are in the NFC Championship game. But unfortunately for them, I think New Orleans is just a little bit more dominant than the Bears. They have a great offense, they have a great defense, and they have home field advantage. And simply put, the Saints have just kind of proven time and time again, they might just be the number one team in the NFC. I think the Saints are going to advance to the Super Bowl. The Bears at the Saints. Like I said, it reminds me of the 2017 Jacksonville Jaguars. And I just think this is the year of the Saints. I think they'll go ahead and beat the Bears, just like the Pats beat the Jags. And I think the Saints will advance to Super Bowl 53. So we both kind of agree when it comes to NFC playoff predictions. We both think the Saints are going to go to the Super Bowl. But who's going to win that Super Bowl is the question. By the way, we don't tell each other our predictions before we record. So this is all a surprise to us. But is it going to be Saints, Chiefs, or Chargers? Let's find out. Unfortunately for the Chiefs and Andy Reid, they had a great run, but the Saints, I think, are just the better team. Andy Reid is probably going to screw it up with time management again, even though it's going to be a great game. It's going to be a high-scoring game. Unfortunately for them, their season ends here. The Saints will win the Super Bowl. Drew Brees has had a very good season. 
And what better way to end it than with the Super Bowl with not only your former team, but with the quarterback that kicked you out. So who do I think is going to end up with a trophy here? I think the Saints. I really do believe that this is Drew Brees' year. I think the Saints are going to prove that they're the most balanced team as well, even though I think the Chargers are a really talented team. I think the New Orleans Saints are going to win their second Super Bowl. Well, those are our NFL plan predictions for 2018. We both basically agreed that the Saints are going to win the Super Bowl, but you never know. We will just have to see what happens. But whether or not you agree with us on these predictions, make sure to smash that like button, blow up the comment section, and definitely subscribe for more content. And we both actually have individual YouTube channels. So we actually have a link in the description below for going to those channels. I post weekly Christian content every single week and just some other fun stuff. So you definitely want to like every video, blow up the comment section, and subscribe for more content on that. No one knows how to spell my channel, so it's in the description below. I pretty much just post funny stuff, so go ahead and check it out. But that's all we have for today, and we will just have to see if we're right on our predictions. Logan and Lost now.